Welcome to Nexternal Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and utilize the image gallery feature on the Nexternal storefront. Uh, one of the best features that Nexternal has available for product pages is the image gallery feature. The gallery feature gives you the ability to display multiple images for a particular product. Then by using the rollover effect, you can change the main image so that it's displayed on the screen. This feature is great if you have a product that has multiple color options or you would like to show several different views of a particular product. Setting up the gallery feature for your products is very easy, but there are two things that will help you along in this process. Uh, first, you're going to have two or three different sizes of images that you're going to use. Uh, you'll need one for the gallery or mini thumbnail image, one for the main image, and maybe one for the large image. So if you have five different colors of a shirt, you will need five gallery images, five main images, and an optional five large images. Uh, the second and most important tip that I can give you is that all of the images that are used for the gallery images have to be the exact same size. So if you make one gallery image 50 by 50 pixels, all of the additional gallery images also have to be 50 by 50 pixels. Uh, the same logic applies to the main images. So if your first main image is 250 by 250, then all of your main images have to be 250 by 250. This is extremely important and your site will not operate properly if you are off by just a couple pixels. So now that we have our images, let's go ahead and add them to a product. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is to log into the Nexternal Order Management System, then proceed to the Products section. Now you can add this to a existing product or you can go ahead and create a new product. I'm going to go ahead and add the images to an existing product. So I'll find my product here and I'll click Edit. Now I'm actually adding a golf shirt that has several different color variations. So the first thing I want to do is to specify the number of attributes. So there's going to be one attribute which is color. Then I'm going to proceed to the images and audio section. Now instead of uploading a main image we are going to go ahead and use the gallery image with three images. Then we are going to use the image gallery for the large image as well. Once we've specified that, we will go ahead and scroll down and click Next. On this screen, the first thing we will want to do is to name our attribute, which is color, then define the number of options or color variations. Now below this, you'll see the gallery images section. This is where you upload all of your images, your gallery images, your main images, and your large images. To upload the images, you're just going to hit the Choose File or Browse button and select the proper images for each variation. So you'll select the gallery image, the main image, and the large image. So once you've done that for each of the three variations or the number of variations that you have, you're going to go ahead and click Next. On this screen, the first thing we are going to do is to name our product options or color variations. Then we can assign an image to the actual color variation. So we want to select the black main, the blue main, and the red main image. What this will do is when the shopper is on the storefront and they hit the drop down and select the black option, it'll be sure and change that image that's displayed to the actual black image. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and click Next. Then we will click Finish. Now that you've entered your images, you can go ahead and take the product link and review your product. If you like the way your product looks, great, you're done, you're on to the next one. If you'd like to make any changes, you can go back to the product detail screen and quickly jump back to your options or to your gallery images. As you can see, the image gallery is a great feature and we're excited to see how you will use this to make your product pages more effective. If you have any questions on this topic, feel free to contact us using an external help desk in your account. You can also call us at 1-800-914-6161 or email us at interest at nexternal.com.